Okay, so in this video, we will find all values of x for which the following power series converges. Now, if the previous example was a dream power series, this surely is an example of a nightmare power series. Let's see why. Two things. Clearly here the center of the series is 4. And we're summing the terms of this sequence, so this is a n. And when we deal with a power series, we can always apply the ratio or the root test. As it turns out in this case, it is simpler using the root test than the ratio test. You can try as an exercise to apply the ratio test. You will arrive at the same conclusion, but you will have a slightly more complicated limit. So here, we will be using the root test. which has to look at the limit of a n in absolute value raised to the power of 1 over n. Of course, letting n tend to positive infinity. So we can replace, so n to the n, x minus 4 to the n, and we take the nth root of the whole expression as we have a product we can apply the nth root to both terms but n times 1 over n will cancel n times 1 over n will cancel so the powers simply go away so we're left with an n we can pull this out of the absolute value as it is clearly positive and then we're left with the absolute value of x minus 4, as of course this could be negative. And now, this is a simple but interesting limit. Think of what are the possibilities here. Either this expression is non-zero, or it is zero. Those are the only two options, as we have an absolute value, and this is non-negative. So, this will be 0 only if x equals 4. So if x is equal to 4, well, this is the absolute value of 0, which is 0. 0 times n is 0. So we have a constant sequence 0. And as n tends to infinity, 0, of course, converges to 0, which is strictly less than 1. And so we will have convergence of the power series when x equals 4. This should not be surprising as a power series will always converge at its center. But what if x is not equal to 4? Well, if x is not equal to 4, and x minus 4 is not 0, and so we have the absolute value of something which is non-zero. So the result will be a strictly positive value. But then the limit is quite different. We have a positive multiple of n, and we're letting n tend to infinity. So clearly, a positive multiple of n will also tend to infinity, which is clearly larger than 1. And so you see, for all values of x that are different than 4, the limit of the root test is larger than 1, therefore returns divergence of the power series. Only in the case when x is equal to 4, its center, will the limit of the ratio t of the root test sorry, be strictly less than 1, in which case we have convergence. So the power series only converges for one value, namely its center. Which is why I say it is a nightmare power series, because it's only a function at one point on the real line. So this is rather a boring power series. Now what about the radius and interval of convergence? Well, if you visualize this again onto the real line, the center is 4, and the radius of convergence is, if you remember, how far away can you walk from the center of the series and still have convergence? As the series only converges at its center, well, we can't walk any distance, because as soon as we walk a little b 
bit away from the center, we have divergence. So here, we cannot walk away from the center of the series and have convergence by any small amount, and so we have a radius of convergence that is equal to zero. And the interval of convergence is supposed to contain all values of x for which the series converges. Well, this includes a single value of x being 4, so the interval is a singleton, namely the set that contains the real number 4, and that's it. So if we write a conclusion, the given power series only converges if x equals 4. So this really is the opposite of the previous example. The previous example of the power series converged for all values of x, and now this power series only converges at a single value of x, namely the center of the series. And that's it.